time. <laughs> that was my brother. He made a big mistake there, you know. I'm the smooth one, the man about town, easy man, I suffer. Ah! It's a quarter to... What's happened to Kate? <laughs> Has she been bushwhacked? <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh, these punks look ridiculous. I don't know how men can go out with their hair looking like that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's usually at this part of the show that one of our viewers rings in, ladies and gentlemen, so we're just waiting for the phone to ring. Any moment now... There it is. Hello, who's that? Oh, it's Ilda Jimmy. <laughs> right then, ladies and gentlemen, we have on the phone Ilda Jimmy. Right then, Ilda Jimmy. Uh, what have you got for me? Oh, well, I've always been a fan of yours, you know. And I've watched all your shows, and I think you're marvellous. <laughs> yes. Well, obviously, we have something in common, my dear. Right now, have you got a question for me? Jimmy, what I wanted to know was, you gave a recipe out on your show last week. <laughs> no, what, a, what a beautiful place. Yorkshire's a lovely, beautiful place. It's, excuse me, just a drink of water. Just relax a little. Because tonight, Fat Lynch, this is your life. <laughs> 
Aren't you the one who screen tested for the stud? Yes, but I failed. I got too hot under the collar. <laughs> You don't catch me twice. It's a quarter to eight. There's a clock over there. <laughs> really? Because your watch has stopped. Really? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as it happens, we did feature on the show uh, Olivia Newton John and Mr. Rigsby. And we have a letter here from a young man, and he would like me to fix it so that he could see them again. So, ladies and gentlemen, abracadabra, hocus pocus, Jim is going to fix it, so how's about that? Nice to see you. To see you. Yes! Oh, yeah. Right, would you just like to stand over here, sir? That's it, lovely. Smashing. You just like to stand there, my love. That's it, right. Whoa! <laughs> and I hope you don't play this at home. <laughs> You don't bring me flowers, and you don't sing me love songs. You hardly talk to me anymore when I come through the door at the end of the day. Will you please? 
That's where you're wrong, because in actual fact, tonight, we have actually brought you halfway across the Atlantic, because tonight, Barbara Diamond, this is your flowers. Neil. Tonight, Barbara Diamond, this is your flowers. <laughs> <laughs> 